Hello again, fellow YouTubers. Solomon Pleasant back with Monty. I'm just going to call you Monty because all those numbers after that, I never can remember that. It, look, my full username is Monty Cat 1432 It's a long story. It's actually kind of a short story. I'll just say it real quick. How it was is when I was first making a my uh, YouTube channel, it was I actually went Monty Cat 1234 but somebody had it, so I just went Monty Cat 1432 and it's like it worked, so yeah. that's what it was. Yes. Once you start getting your channel... Um, I don't know how soon it's going to be. I found out that it's going to be a lot longer before I can get that camera. Indeed. Anyway, so we are here today to do another Top 12. Now, you guys have been telling me you want more stuff like this, and I've been giving you more to face stuff, so this is just another Top 12. So today we are going to be doing the Top 12 Hated Cards of Vanguard. Now, remember, guys, this is by our opinion. This yes. is nobody else's opinion. This is our opinion. And frankly, what we do think of this list just up today, pretty much. Uh, you did... In, yeah, so did I. And of course, we thought about it through time and time. Yeah, so, hey, might as well make we've kept on hold on to some cards that's like, why? Yes. Now, just to disclaim everything, this is going to be up until set 17. We cannot really say anything after that. More cards that we hate come out after set 17. We might make another. Might need to make a redo. But um, this is as it is to set 17. So let's just get and, started. And, and uh, we're also probably going to do a uh, top 10 like our favorite cards. Just yeah we'll probably do a top 12 favorite cards as well. That'll so. be a different video. So let's get started. Yeah. Uh, why don't you go first with your dishonorable mention. Yeah we're going to start with our dishonorable mentions guys. And the thing and my dishonorable mention actually holds two cards. It holds the uh, <laughs> spirits, Blaster Blade Spirit and Blaster Dark Spirit. All right, this should be interesting. I don't like these cards because of it's just the fact that why? If you look back on all the other one, if you we had one Blaster Blade, one Blaster Dark. Yep. And then they completely disappeared through all of season two. Yep. And then they suddenly come back? Yep. It I, was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I think part of that had to do with um, they didn't know going in, leaving Season 2, that they were going to make Liberators, because that's what they do. They make Liberators and Revengers, and hey, Blaster Blade Blaster Dark again. So, they probably were not thinking very much ahead with that. No. They probably weren't. But it was just, it's just a set of cards that's like, why? Also, they're really, I think they're more fan- they were, they were fan base cards. I feel like, okay, Blaster Blade was a basic card yes. that was completely understandable. Yes. Blaster Blade Liberator, they got a, he had a revamp, but they when they to. made Seeker stuff, that was just like fan made. That's yeah. just fan stuff, in my opinion. The Seekers are made because Blaster Blade needs to be in Legion, because Blaster Blade needs to be in everything. Which I will. Well, if they later. didn't have that, then it's like. I if can they didn't. Have Blaster Blade in just about every season. It's like wow, that's pretty much what it is now. So pretty much, you don't like the spirits. Because I don't like them. They're just useless. In my opinion, they're not that good. Some people love them. I have a friend of mine who loves it in his gold paladin deck, but I have no use for them. So that makes sense. I've got one of each just in my fan fan binder. So what's your dishonorable? Uh, just Blaster Blade in general. Now I now that's what would be interesting. I. Man look into it because I wanted to find Dishonorable Mention, I'm like, yeah, we need to touch base on this. I'm okay with Blaster Blade Season 1. Season 2, him as a spirit, um, they may have Blaster Dark Spirit, so I guess that's okay. Season 3, they make a Liberator, I'm like, okay, this is getting repetitive. Now they make a Seeker, it's like, really? At least with, in Season 4, Blaster Dark Revenger stays a Revenger well, with Legion. He well, stays here's a Revenger. The thing. He went from being a royal paladin to a gold paladin, so... And they just make too much. Do you know how many blaster-type cards there are? I don't want to know. A lot. And I, I actually like Blaster Dark a lot more than Blaster Blade. And Blaster Blade's okay, I just find that too many people find hype about him. And I, I'm just like, eh. Not to say that I fully hate the card, it's just I'm not the biggest fan of all the hype it's been given. So, in a sense, we kind of had the same dishonorable mention. Kind of. Yes. But moving on, your number 12. My number 12, it is... Now, when I say this, I'm just referring to it's the amount of cards it has, and I'm referring to Granblue. 
I only I know you love Grand Blue and it's probably your favorite clan, right? Yeah, pretty much. I'm not trying to put it down. I just don't like it just because it doesn't have enough stuff to it. That I can totally attest that they don't have a lot of stuff. So basically, you can put Bushy Road in here as your number twelve. <laughs> Bushy Road, I would put in as my number twelve. <laughs> so I just yeah, they do get some more stuff when Legion comes out, so you can make a different couple different decks. Yeah, and and I'm glad about that. But I feel like there's still not enough stuff that we have here in America. That's true. That makes it worthwhile to build Grand Blue. I'm not saying Grand Blue's a bad clan. I'm not saying the idea Because you said is... your top... Grand Blue was like, what, number six, at least? It, it was in your top... It list. was in my top 12 clans. But it's... I'm just putting it on there as, like, Bushy Road is my number 12, not... And just the fact that it doesn't... It, get... Bushy Road doesn't put out enough stuff for those clans that need it. Yeah. I really think that Bushy Road has this problem of, oh, we're gonna make it unbalanced again. And then balance right back up. And leave it unbalanced again for a couple sets, and balance it right back up. They also had a thing of just making nothing but golds. Now Shadow. And... Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, because Shadow's been getting a lot of stuff. And they they're gonna continue getting a lot of stuff. Yes, they will. I think every set now they get stuff. Hmm. Yeah, because they're even getting it in set 17. Interesting. At least I thought. So your number 12 just... The it's, lack of cards in Grapple. Yeah, pretty much. My number 12 is Machining Spark Hercules. I think I said that right. Yeah. Now, I've talked about the break ride, and I'm sure you're going to talk about it later because I know it's on this list. <laughs> yeah. I know it's somewhere on this list. My, that break ride's on my list. But why do you not like this card? Uh, the break ride I'm actually really cool with. It's awesome. And if I had it, I would probably use it in the Meg Colony deck I run. I don't like Spark Hercules because he's pretty much there for the break ride. And, and and I will say other machinings in general, because they don't focus on Mega Colony's concept. They're just there for power, and then there are like one or two cards that focus on resting. And that that's the whole reason. And but Spark Hercules is just, oh, well, you're into that rest. Break ride, and I'm at 31,000 with a crit now, because I broke road, and then I get my little special ability from my own thing, so I'm just like... It can keep raising up its own power without having to do much of anything. Yeah, so, I find machine needs lazy. That, that's probably the best word to describe them. Lazy. But, you Whereas, still like the older Meg. I like the older Meg Cully better, and the break ride's awesome, because you have to do something. You have to try with it. With new machinings, and old machinings are fine, like, Stag Beetle, he was trying. He, he wasn't lazy. He's just like, yeah, I need to do stuff. But I need to combo it well. You'll understand. I don't like the Mega Colony Break right now, and you'll hear about my beef with it later. So Indeed. So that that's my number 12. You're number 11. My number 11. It's Grand Scissors Azel. I'm going to talk about this card later, so I'll let you talk about it, mostly. I don't like this card because it makes Link Joker's ability to lock kind of worthless. Um, not necessarily. It's just, I just find it stupid. It was just a, it was just a fan-made card. It's another fan It's a bandwagon card is what it is. Yeah, if, it's just one of those cards that's like, I'm, we're gonna make this just to keep people happy. Yeah, that, that's really what it is. And also, it's enough, it's, it's not cross right for Zell. I give it credit that's, that not cross That's the one thing why it's not lower, it's not higher up on my list. That's why it's so low. It's not a cross right, which I'm kind of happy about. Makes sense. But still has the Azel ability of, oh, I get plus one for each then. Which a lot of boss golds seem to do that now, just get plus one for each gold pal. That was unit. the whole point of the clan. Yeah. But it's just one of those cards that's like, nah. That makes sense. Your number 11? My number 11 is. Let me just see what I. Bloody Ogre from Spike Brothers. Oh, I know why. Now, this is a unit that comes out in 616 for Legion, and those of you who don't know what Legion is, I'd look it up. It's a kind of complicated mess. I don't like this card because of how much hype it got when it came out. And it still has some hype, and I don't get why. I mean, its ability is decent for Spike Brothers. Counterblast, like, two or... Counterblast one, I can do this once, Counterblast one, and call out a unit? I believe so. Yeah. Some, it's something where it's some form of counterblast, and I'm just like, Emperor can do this, but better. And that's why I don't like it. Emerald Blaze is fine, because it calls out at least two. Ogre only gets to call out one unit, and so many people love it. 
And part of the reason they love it is because you can call out any unit, which means you can mix clan decks. That's the thing. And People there's actually, love it uh, because you can mix clan. And there's actually an Et Ranger card that has like ten thousand, has like a hundred crit. And people are defending Blood Yogurt by saying, oh, you can call out this unit. I'm like, no. That's not I've real never even unit. seen any of the Et Ranger cards in person. I know, but people are giving that as the defense for Blood Yogurt. I'm like, that is a terrible defense, and you should feel bad about that. Blood Yogurt, I feel like it's just, ugh. Yeah, I don't like Bloody... I don't like Spike Brother Legion. Emerald Blaze tried. It's, it's not the best. Emperor, I think, is better. But Emerald Blaze at least tried. Ogre is just there, and I'm like, go away. You don't need to be here. So, that's my number 11. Your number 10? My number 10 actually is going to stay in the same clan. My number 10 is actually the the break ride for Spice. You don't like Bad End? Bad End is just bad. I'm not, I mean like, bad is like, it's overpowered in my opinion. A bit. A it's, bit. It's overpowered in the sense that every unit that attacks basically gets, it plus, gets 10. plus ten, and that's Spike ridiculous with Spike Bros. That's why I love it. It's ridiculous. It made the, it actually made the clan good again. Yes, I know it. That's why. I use but it. it's ridiculously powerful. Yeah, it's fun to use bad end. Now I'm a Spike Brothers player too. Grand Blue is like probably the first favorite clan that I did, but Spikes are there too, so. I'm Isn't not that. Spikes, your number one on your clan list. Grand Blue and Spikes kind of go up at number one. Up at number one, they switch from time to time. Okay, but now I just don't like this thing. It's it's because every time I use it, I punch you in the face. It's <laughs> that's his, what he does. His Spike Bros deck is unbelievably good. Just call out Juggernauts, spam, beat you up with twenty six k. It's just and then wonderful. also use. Combine it with uh, with Dudley Emperor, and that's why I like Bad End Emperor, and that's why I don't like Bloody Ogre. It's like, oh, just call it's money. ridiculous and how effective it is. That so, made, I can understand. I don't that. like this card just because of how useful it is. I can understand. It, it's so it's got its ability is so good it, that it's yeah. so good that I hate it. That makes sense. So I can understand. Your number ten. My number 10, um, you're gonna laugh at this, because a lot of people like this card for whatever reason. I don't like Hey Yo Pineapple. <laughs> I just don't like its art. There's nothing wrong with its ability or anything. I just don't like it. It's, it's supposed a, to be like a rapper. Yeah, I, it's stupid. It's a stupid grade 2 that I don't like. I just, there's no hey yo. real... And everybody says Pineapple. That's like, the thing. It's like, we where we play Vanguard, it's like, you can shout that out in the room and everybody will just laugh. I just don't like that card. I find it stupid. And a lot of, like, vegetable-style Neo Nectar cards, I don't like. This one particularly, I don't like. And that's... I'm going to stick with that. So that's just my number nine. No real reason, just I don't like it. You mean it. your number ten? Yeah, my number ten. <laughs> your number nine. Uh, if you guys notice, my list is becoming a trend of it's a lot of fan-made cards, and then the next card's another fan-made card. The uh, Maelstrom's Break Ride. No, Maelstrom's uh, New Cross Ride. Oh, um, Blue Storm Counter Dragon, Maelstrom Reverse? Yes. You don't like that card? No. Why is that? It's because it's another fan-made card that people just wanted just because of what Maelstrom is. I mean, when Maelstrom first came out, it was okay. But the next cool. set, it got a cross ride, and that was a little ridiculous, wouldn't you agree? Um, I found it to be fine just because Glory Maelstrom had an original skill when he had it. Now everybody's got that skill, and I'm like, well, thanks for ripping off Glory Maelstrom. Also, Glory Maelstrom's pretty low in price now, so I don't complain. Yeah, but still, I don't like the reverse of this just because it's another hyped fan-made card that's gonna... There are people are saying that it's gonna be one of the better cards, but no, if I was gonna play a set, I'd still play Blue Ra Tetra Dragon. Tetra yeah, Dragon, in my opinion, is still better. Yeah, I can understand that. I would, I will probably, if I am kind of making an Aqua Force deck, so spoiler there on one of my deck profiles, but one of the reverses is going to be in there. When I first saw that reverse, I was sad. Its lore is sad, but still, I don't... Also, when you say it was a hyped-up fan-made card, I don't understand why, because... It's a, I It was a hyped-up card because of what? I didn't want Maelstrom to get reversed. Not a lot. Aqua Force a did lot reverse. of people. I didn't expect Aqua Force to be reversed. In all honesty, 
I didn't expect it. And when I saw that Aqua Force was getting first, I'm like, oh, it's Jet to Drive, because that's what everybody goes to. And Maelstrom shows up, and I'm like, oh, you remember he exists! Good they job, also, she wrote. Frankly, I thought Maelstrom was going to be dead after season two. Like, yeah, I kind of thought that. Yeah, and I thought, okay, he was going to stay dead, but then he brought oh. him up. It's like, everybody's hyping him up so much, and that's why I hate him. I think he's just okay. Nah. But, yeah, that makes sense. So, my you're, number nine, then? You're number nine. You're going to laugh at this one, too. Now, my number ten number nine are just there because of artwork. Um, Cheer Girl Ade Guard or something? It's the new Spike Brothers heel from set 16. I also don't really like this card, but it's not... Oh. It's, I don't. I didn't put any cards in here because of the artwork. Yeah, I did just because I couldn't find enough cards I hated. Oh, yeah. They're ogres. It's basically the Spike Brothers Assault Squad in drag. And Spike Brothers had this thing going where all their cheer girls looked nice. And? And, yes. And then they get this new heel. A heel, mind you. Is that something you want to see when you draw, when you pull a miracle trigger? Is that the miracle trigger you want to see? No. No. I don't want to. See, I want it to burn because I just don't like that art. I, I know I what just, you're gonna do. You're gonna try and get every single one of them for people, and then you're sticking in the fire. Burn it. That's what you're gonna do. I have a policy of not ripping up cards, but that one's coming really close. Just because, ah, uh, when I first saw it, I'm like, ah. Oh. And when he showed it to me, I'm like, really, Bushy Road. Yeah, You're running out of ideas. They are running out of ideas for Spikes. Just, wow. Again, not much else to say, I just don't like the artwork. You're number eight. My number eight is actually Leopold and Leopold Reverse. Okay. I I'll be interested to see why. There's actually a Great Ninja card that I hate even more up higher on my list. But the reason why I don't like these cards is the fact that of what, like, the price that they stand at for so long. Uh, Leopold, yeah, that makes sense. Leopold... Okay, I've got... Leopold Reverse is actually like a buck right now, so he's not that much. No, he wasn't that much but when he first came out, and he stayed there for several weeks. Really? Leopold and Leopold Reverse, at the price they were at, they weren't... I mean, they're very good cards, mind you, but yeah. I still think the fact that when Leopold Reverse came out, it's like, and it's read his ability, it's like... Oh my gosh, this is going to really revamp them. And I'm glad that they got it. Yeah, it, it But is. just the price that they stayed at for what it ability did, I think it was just a little too long that it stayed at that price. So, yeah, I can see that. But so, the price that um, the original Leopold stayed at for so long oh is God, that was ridiculous expensive. as well. It was like Lucky Air. That's why... Um, no, it wasn't that high, but it was at 2025. That's why Rampage of the Beast King, for a long time, was the most expensive box. Yeah, you had to spend over a hundred bucks to get one. Yeah, it was it was higher than most of the other boxes. Even on like cheap places like cool stuff, it was like higher than everything else. And I'm like, it wow. It was pretty. pretty so that's number number eight then. Yeah, that's my number eight. It's the yeah. Leopold combo. Number my number eight is, and you're gonna start seeing this a lot. Incandescent Lime Blonde Zell. Now I know you use this card, yeah. and I and I'm okay with you using it. I just. When it first came out, this is more from the fact that it first came out, I didn't like it. And I still am not the biggest fan of it. It's not as bad now, mind you, because of some of his other forms. But there's still a part of me that just doesn't like versing it. It's really more that I don't like versing it just because its ability is that good. It's a really good ability. Garibus 2, call out a unit, get power from that unit. That's actually a really good ability. I mean, it you is. can get it up to 35, 40,000 easy. Yeah, you can. And that's just... Combining it with the break ride, which I've done several times in the past... And it gets plus one for each unit on the field. So, it's just... And a lot of gold paladin cards are going to be on here, just because, in general, I feel that like gold paladin gets its power up it's... a lot higher, a lot easier than most clans. I don't know. Some... Yes, yeah, some try, but... Like, some have Special really Duke tried. Special Duke tried. Not he actually in my killed opinion. Things. But we'll talk about that later, but yeah. it's it's lower on the list than like if I did this a while ago before some of these other cards came out, um, this would be much higher, but And frankly, my list would be changed if a lot of stuff didn't have yes. come out. But I've dropped off a lot of stuff off my list because of what's come out. But my number eight in this line blind is L. I just yeah. not the biggest fan. So your number seven? My number seven is actually the new grade four Kagero unit. Okay. I totally understand why. I have one word to describe this thing. I think I know which word it is. Why? 
Uh, that was the word I was going for. What was the word you were going for? Broke. It's okay. Two words. Why well, am broke? It's broke. Okay. It doesn't need to exist. Didn't need to exist. They made it just because people were dropping Kagero, because uh, people were not using um, Dragonic Overlord the End anymore. They were switching to really? other clans. Even though Dauntless's End is still probably one of the best decks. It's there. still one of the best decks, but people are starting to not use it as much just because other cl clans are actually starting to get support and also and become powerful. And Dauntless and the End are incredibly expensive, so nobody wants to try. Yeah, it. that's the thing. Their price on those two cards is ridiculous. So that's probably why they made this great four. They, oh my and gosh. Bushiroad hasn't made a great but four have before. you seen the price of this card? Oh yeah, it's... 50, it's, 60 bucks, easy. Yeah. I've seen, really the, triple I've seen a set of these go for as much as 500. Yep. That's not it's ridiculous on the price. It's ridiculous. It's incredibly ridiculous. Totally understand that. But it's... Abilities are actually, you can only use it once, but when you use it once, it you can basically say you win. Yeah. Once that card enters the field, you win. Pretty much. There I is agree. no way to beat that card. People are saying, oh, just P-Guard it. Yeah, you run four P-Guards in your deck. How that often are people packs. actually going to yeah, that, draw one when you need it? Yeah, that's true. And also, when tri even Miracle Triggers don't work anymore with this guy. No. Miracle Triggers don't, they don't matter. Miracle triggers don't triggers matter. Triggers in general thing don't with matter them. when he comes out. Frankly, grid zeros don't matter with him anymore. Exactly. He's basically Silent Tom on steroids. With more abilities. Now no, his ability he's Silent Tom on steroids after taking a lot of meth. Oh yeah. Now his ability to kill everything, I mean, that's okay. That's that's you that's usual for Kagero. Yeah, that's usual. But when it says you can't use grade zeros to, to guard to guard and the triggers don't work. Yeah, the whole triggers don't work thing. That that's really ridiculous. Me. That is ridiculous. That's the reason why this... It would be higher up, but the cards I have higher up, like, I hate worse. Okay, and also this card might... Will probably get banned at some point. I could it's easily gotta. see this thing. It's gotta get banned. banned at some point. Dragonic Descent got banned, and I didn't think that thing was gonna get banned at all. It's not that bad. Hey, I was shocked to hear that a lot of cards actually got pulled yeah. off of Japan's ban list. Silent Tom. Both Suku Yomi cards. I mean, the Full Moon and then God Hawk. And then even cards like Alfred got pulled off. Alright. Majesty Lord Blaster was on there at one point. But that's just because he was actually really good at the time, so. Yes, he was. I'm going to let you now talk about yours. My number seven is Blazing Lion Platina as L. I knew you were going to bring up Platina. I just don't like it because it's the cross ride. I can't even. What's its skill again? It's a ultimate It's an break. ultimate break. You counter blast five. You get. You call it. I don't remember. It's got a calling skill, but if it doesn't, and then it's, get plus five or something. It's, each one of your rear guards gets plus five. I just. That's like, what it is. Each one of your rear guards gets plus five. There's nothing. A lot else. more effortless spam calling. Get power. I just don't like it because it's the cross. People ride. will ride Azel, call out the units, block every unit, mm -hmm. and then ride to Platino, Mega Black. Uh, do a. Ultimate, ultimate break and then win because it's ridiculous how yeah. effective it is it, it's effective and I just don't like it I don't like a lot of the Azel cards so that's my number six